Welcome to the Diabetes Canada 2018 Clinical Practice Guidelines, Chapter 19, Influenza and Pneumococcal Immunization, co-authored by Nadira Hussein and Ashen Chetty. Key Changes, New Information on Recommendations for Recommended Types of Pneumococcal Vaccination, Hepatitis B Vaccination, and Herpes Zoster Vaccination. The key messages in the chapter are that influenza immunization is essential yearly among patients with diabetes to reduce hospitalizations. Pneumococcal immunization is desired in patients with diabetes as it is a chronic disease. For those over the age of 65, a one-time revaccination is essential if the original vaccine administered when they were less than 65 years old was at least five years ago. This will ensure adequate immunity. Finally, it is important to include immunization as a part of the diabetic flow sheet as a reminder. Annual influenza immunization is beneficial for patients with diabetes. Diabetes increases the risk of morbidity from influenza. Influenza immunization decreases hospitalization rates by approximately 40%. Hence, the current recommendation for annual influenza immunization. Diabetes is considered to be a chronic condition and people with diabetes are at similar risk of developing pneumococcal disease as those with other chronic conditions. It is strongly encouraged to immunize patients for pneumococcal disease to prevent morbidity and mortality associated with pneumococcal disease. It is essential to have a one-time revaccination if the patient is over 65 years of age or if the original vaccine administered when they were less than 65 years of age was more than five years ago. Remember to include the vaccination status on the diabetes flow sheet. Recommendation one, people with diabetes should receive routine vaccination as recommended for the general population in keeping with the National Advisory Committee on Immunization Guidelines. Recommendation 2. People with diabetes should receive an annual influenza vaccination during flu season to reduce the risk of influenza-related hospitalizations and death. Recommendation 3. New P23 vaccination should be offered to persons with diabetes aged 19 to 64 years. A one-time revaccination is recommended for those 65 years and older if the original vaccine was given when they were younger than 65 years of age. For people with diabetes 65 years and older or with an immunocompromising condition, such as end-stage renal failure, new C13 vaccine should be administered first, followed at least eight weeks later by new P23 vaccine. And people who have already received new P23 at least one year should elapse before they are given new C13. Key messages. Influenza vaccination can reduce hospitalization rates by approximately 40% for those individuals deemed to be at high risk. Pneumococcal vaccination is desired in people with diabetes as they are considered as likely to be infected as those with other chronic diseases. Adults with type 1 and type 2 diabetes are at higher risk of hepatitis B virus infection. Key messages for people with diabetes. You should receive routine vaccinations as recommended for anyone with or without diabetes. Check if you are up to date with your vaccinations. You should receive influenza vaccination, the flu shot, every year. Pneumococcal vaccination, initially when you are over the age of 18 years, and again when you are over the age of 65 years. If your original vaccination was given when you were younger than 65 years and your last vaccination was over five years ago. The full guidelines, interactive tools, and other useful resources can be accessed on the guidelines website, guidelines.diabetes.ca. This information is also accessible on the Diabetes Canada app, available at the Apple Store and for Android.
This concludes Chapter 19 on Immunization.